situation that no parent should ever have to face, burying your own child. Tonight, how one family's tragedy is driving calls for increased safety. Good evening, I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Bart Bedsell. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a tragic story about one El Paso County boy whose life was cut far too short. Chase Culp was just 12 years old. He was riding home with his dad from basketball practice when he was killed in a terrible traffic accident in Black Forest. Cardio 13's Mackenzie Stafford is live after learning more about that family tonight and about how this tragic event is prompting new calls for traffic changes in Black Forest. Right here at the intersection of Shoop and Herring Road is where Colorado State Patrol says that this crash happened late Friday night. We now know that it was an older man, 75 years old, that was driving down this way and did not stop at one of these stop signs when he then hit and collided with the father and son's car. And we now know tonight that criminal charges are pending as a part of this crash. Skid marks drawn across the road, a shattered electrical box, and knocked over trees. All signs of what could be left behind from the crash that killed 12-year-old Chase Culp. It's sad that we lost a life. It's sad that we have to lose a life to get the attention needed to, to fix these problems. Caradio 13 found there have been at least four other deadly crashes on Shoop Road since 2017. Now the community is crying out to county officials to make changes. It just seems like something where uh, it's happening a lot, uh, more than it should be. Casey Pelizari shared this video with Caradio 13. You can see when driving down Herring Road at night, the stop sign is difficult to see. And there seems to be some simple solutions that could help. He suggests LED lights on the stop signs, rumble strips, and even clearing trees that block visibility to stop signs. And those are those are cheap solutions. Had that been here, I'm confident that the chase would still be alive. In response, an El Paso County spokesperson says, quote, safety on our roadways is always a top priority. However, it's important to acknowledge that despite the best engineering and safety improvements, the behavior of drivers plays a critical role in preventing accidents, end quote. It's just so tragic. Now, if you would like to help the Culp family with the unexpected funeral costs, we have a verified link that goes to their family on Caradio.com right now. Reporting live in Black Forest, Mackenzie Stafford, Caradio 13.